you guys play great. I mean, this is massive. And, and very impressive you know, how well you play with as many people. That's, that's very, very cool. Uh, let's see, things that uh, I was thinking about while you were playing. Are you mostly a drummer? Have you played vibes on the solo on the first one? All right, do you play vibes? I play piano. You play piano, okay, cool. Um, what I was going to say is the solo is great. I think your playing is excellent. Um, it seemed like, though, when you're playing, just be careful with sustain because a lot of times you're losing clarity of sound. I'm not a vibraphone player, so you could be saying that's nonsense, but I play with some great vibraphone players, and I know that there's a way to have more precision and sound, not have that sustain going out throughout. So just be careful of that because it makes what all the nice stuff you're doing kind of muddy. So, uh, let's see. On the first two, can I, what's, where did the, uh, the solo section start? 43. 43. All right, can I hear the rhythm section, please, at 43? Here's just the rhythm section. One, two, one, two, three, four. Just do it, the, the bass drum pattern that you're playing, is that written in the part like that? Yeah? Okay. Try, uh, leave it out really quick. Just do everything else you do, but leave out the bass drum. One, two, ready, go. Just you, and no one else has that part? No? Okay. I think we vary it. We kind of vary a little bit. Okay. Okay, cool, cool. Um, sound, sounds good. Just play it. When, when it's something like that, if it's just one person, it's just you out by yourself, and yeah, the soloist is doing a thing in the spotlight, but you've got to play your part with, you know, um, uh, don't be tentative with it because it almost sounds like, what's well, that supposed to be a solo or a count, whatever. So just play it up with it. What, can you play that part with the rhythm section? Where does that start to be? 43, 40 rhythm section and that background line. One, two, one, two, three, four. Hear that very well? No. 
So that, that's what I'm saying. I'm not, this is not a, I'm not calling anyone out here, but I'm just saying where you are, you can hear it, but you gotta think about, all right, what's going on as a group as a whole and the audience out there. So what I would say is like for those background line things, if you've got a concert or something like this in a big hall, like in the, in the, in the, in the band room, it's one thing, but um, when you're in a space like this, you gotta think about how that's gonna fill up the sound. So play exactly what you're doing. Is it mezzo forte, is that what you have? Play it, play it four two. Let's try that. Same thing. One, two, one, two, three, four. Good, good. You hear it? Yeah. yeah. Okay. Who's soloing on top of that? Who's got a solo? Come out here, please. All right. I'm gonna have you solo sing. Do exactly the same thing you just did. Here. What do you want down here? Sure. One, two, one, two, three, four. Uh, for the concerts, are you guys using mics for concerts? No, it's on the solo mics. Yeah. yeah. Okay. So I, I wouldn't, I wouldn't worry. I mean, yes, if everyone was playing acoustically, I'd go for that. But I mean, for the concerts, they're going to be on mics. So I'd stick with the live symbol. Again, this is just my opinion about it. You can do whatever you want, but when you do that, when you're going from the live symbol back down to the hi hat, it brings the energy down. And yeah, you're absolutely right. If, like it's. Maybe a bass solo or something like that, you want to do that. But if there's a solo microphone, you don't necessarily have to do that. So there's something to think about. Uh, let's see, what else do I want to address? Like I said, ensemble playing is great. Uh, volume, for the most part, dynamics is, is good. Uh, just keep listening at, throughout. You know, like I've said it before, before and I'll say it again. You can be tuned at the beginning and you're always listening throughout to make sure that you're playing tuned, maybe you're up to your section and the rest of the group. Um, solos, very nice solos. Uh, let's talk about some solo ideas here. How much time do we have? Where are we here? Huh? Five minutes? Okay, I can use. Um, musical phrases. What does that mean? When we talk about music, what's a phrase? Yes. It's uh, a group of measures that complete like an idea. Yeah. Basically, the way I like to think about it, it's a sentence, right? You are constructing sentences with notes. Every every melody, everything you've heard is constructed in sentences. If you have the lyrics, it's easy to figure out. Happy birthday to you, first sentence. Happy birthday to you, second sentence. You get the idea. We have shorter sentences, longer sentences. Even if it's instrument, instrumental music. Da 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 da, first phrase. Da 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 da, second phrase. Da 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 da, da 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 da, right? Next phrase, next sentence. So when you're soloing, um, you guys have lots of great ideas and good solos, but um, think about things in terms of, of uh, phrases. One bar phrases, two bar phrases, four bar phrases, right? So if we go, um, I'll start, I'll do some one, one bar phrases. I'm just using the blue scale here. Well, let's go, where's the solo section? 43? 43. Let's go on the rad symbol here, rhythm section, and I'm going to do one bar phrases. Which my ideas are going to start and finish within the span of four beats. One, two, one, two, three, four. So you can see the idea start and end with one bar. This is just something that you guys can experiment with. Now let's try two bar sentences. Two bar sentences. The idea will span the length of two measures. One, two, one, two, three, four. Da 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 da